Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I keep leaving and coming back, leaving and coming back. My job is very stressful and it takes a lot of my hours. Um, I work in a big giant warehouse. Um, sometimes we work 40 hours a week. Sometimes it's 50. During the holiday season, it's 60 hours. So there's not much time in between that to try to get videos done. But since it's after the holidays, I'm going to try my best on my days off to get some videos done. And I'm hoping to get on a schedule to where I can post maybe every Friday or Saturday. But today's Sunday, so happy Sunday to everybody. And I want to do a little haul. I, as you see by the title, I had ordered a junk journal mystery kit. It's Valentine's. And I got it from Crafty Girl. And uh, she makes these junk journal mystery kits and sells them on her Etsy. Um, I've bought a few of her junk journal kits. Um, they're all right. Um, a lot of her channel, if you don't know who she is, she does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. So a lot of the things that you're going to get in her kits are from Dollar Tree. But there's also some other cute little items that she puts in there as well. So if you know who she is, and if you ever are curious to what one of these kits looks like, if you were ever interested in it and didn't want to purchase one yourself, but you wanted to know what was in it, well, here's a video for you. So I will say, um, here's her kit. This is how it came. Very cute packaging. I love this label very nice so you can tell she puts a lot of time in um, packaging and making sure it's packaged nicely so her junk journal kits mystery kits this one was $41.95 now she prices them all different um, price ranges um, but this one, the Valentine one, um, is $41.95. Um, she does charge shipping. The shipping um, for me was $4.95. And then, of course, tax. And that will go by what your area is. So this package was $50.53 for me. Let's get into this package. All I did was open it. I didn't peek inside or look take anything out. So what you're seeing is what I'm seeing for the very first time. Okay, so here we go. I'm so excited. And here is the first look. Here's the first look of the package. Very nice. Here's this really cute sticker that's holding the bag together it came up just a little bit oh it actually ripped ripped just a little bit but that's okay that's okay I don't think nothing came out let me see let me make sure nothing came out nope nothing is in the bag so everything stayed in um, the cellophane bag but I see a lot of cute goodies in here alright so let's open her up not really gonna care about the sticker. Alright. Okay, here we go. So, right off the bat, I see some tickets. Oh, and she gives like different colors. That is really neat. Oh, she gives three different colors. So, every kit is going to be different okay it's not all going to be the same items it's a mystery kit 
so everyone is, will get something different okay I just want to say that uh, so if you're liking what you see and you want to go and purchase one of her kits um, just keep in mind what you'll get is probably different from my kit I will link her channel below and you can just go over there and you know find her Etsy and whatnot okay so here those tickets are really cute and then a purple and a pink tickets different styles very cute and here is some vintage she does like vintage items which I love vintage so this is really cute and I love this cup this cute little um, frappe or uh, hot chocolate <laughs> whatever you want it to be and I love this cute little banner now I'm pretty sure she got this at Dollar Tree um, because she does haul a lot of these but I could be wrong and here is some ooh a lot of vintage goodies here is another vintage here's some more I'm gonna try to be a little quick this is like a chipboard Hi, Cookie. Oh, this is so cute. Can't wait to use that. This looks like it's a sticker. Some more vintage. I love all the vintage. Ooh, this is really cute. Here are some of these uh, tickets. Now, what if you don't know what a junk journal is, it's just a fun book with a bunch of different scrap pieces of paper these kind of items whatever you want to put in it some people will make it into a journal where you can write in it have spots in within the journal so you can uh, write in it some folks just like to decorate each page and just admire their work whichever you want to do all right oh those are all so adorable a lot of nice vintage goodies this time I'm so far I'm really pleased I don't want this to be super long video here's some cute little hearts 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 these little foam hearts this is sticker uh, this Uno card, really, really small one. Some more vintage goodies. Vintage, vintage goodies. Oh, like we even get a rabbit. That would be good for Easter. And these are like different storybook pages, but these are fairies. I like that. some more vintage that's pretty cool very nice I love all these um, old vintage tickets very nice Here's that looks like a library card almost oh look at this little cute little bag um, so in the future with doing videos, I'm going to talk and show at the same time. Um, in the future of doing videos, I'm hoping to bring you guys some junk journal journaling videos where we do some pages together. Um, I am going to be doing a new craft room tour. Now this, these are from Dollar Tree. Oh, these cards. She loves crafting with these cards. Now, to be quite honest, I don't. I do not like crafting with these cards. Um, 
or doing my junk journals at least with these cards. I will find a purpose for them, but this I really don't care for. Some people do, I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna do a new craft room tour because I moved my craft room from downstairs in the basement to upstairs when I stopped doing my dog grooming uh, business. Um, I took over the room that I was using that's in my house. Really nice. Oh, look at all these invoices. Daily agendas. Now, see, okay, I am liking this kit. Oh, look at this. A reject tag, but it has the carbon. Carbon. <laughs> it has like the carbon. So when you write it, transfers. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. And a guest check. Ooh. Yep, we're definitely... Oh, this is cool. So this is like a library card holder. And she even put went ahead and put some tape. Some double-sided tape on the back for me. So when I'm ready to use it, just peel off the backing and stick it. We're definitely going to be doing a Valentine junk journal. For sure. Using her kit. Love the bingo. Ooh, a bunch of different bingo. Love it. Love it. Cute little price tags. Even a Valentine little card. Oh, that's so cute. Look how little it is. Oh, even she uh, put the envelope to that too. Here is another envelope. I think it's to this one right here. You make my heart melt. Oh, all these cute little stickers. More hearts. Okay. More stickers. And ooh, this is really neat how she did that. So it's just a cute little heart pocket. Oh my God, where'd she find this? <laughs> And a whole bunch of different hearts and buttons. Very nice. Like that a lot. Some more little stickers. That I know probably came from Dollar Tree. Monopoly money. Barbie. <laughs> An index card. Some graph paper. A cute little um, pouch. Oh. So she put an envelope, it's like a regular envelope, and I'm pretty sure this came from Dollar Tree, but she added a little heart, a little foam heart to it. Very nice touch. And I like this. Oh, it's a time um, clock card. That's pretty cool. When I started working, um, I always wanted to do a time clock, and... Um, every job I had didn't have this little time clock punch thing, but I always wanted to do it because I always seen it in the movies <laughs> growing up. All right. And this is like, um, wax paper. Feels like a little bit waxy. It's like a tissue paper, but it has, um, a wax coating on it for sure. So that's pretty neat. Right. Some colored pieces of paper. Now, that is cute. All my love. Oops. And everyone likes you and soda. So do I. <laughs> uh, those are really neat and really cute. Another guest check. A Valentine little pack. Some different color paper, a really bright pink pouch. Whoa, goodness, but I love it. I love pink. This cute heart. Wow, there is a lot here. A tea. <laughs> oh, and before I show, uh, she also added a popsicle and this little cute gold heart. 
on um, like a on a pick. Okay, here's some more different cut different types of paper. Oh, that's cool. That'll go good with those fairies. monkey bread recipe oh that's pretty cool huh I wonder if she got this from a thrift store or something that's pretty neat monkey bread recipe I might even have to try that some more that's a customer order some papers different color papers and here is the last paper which is really big too. Oh, and it's double sided. That's pretty neat. So there's that side and then that side. And I like it because it's pink. Oh, and look at that. Nope, it's not double sided. <laughs> well, it is, but so this is a pink one, which I like because you can put it with the Valentine um, items. And also this too, this color as well. So they can both, I love like the old vintage stamps and then this coffee bean I think this was like a banner you can also grab this do something like that with the coffee beans and then this can be on like on the side <laughs> and then a little last but not least this little heart clip all right well i am definitely liking this um mystery junk journal kit um like i said i had purchased two others before in the past and i wasn't too crazy about it because it was a lot of dollar tree items which i love dollar tree and i love dollar tree items and there's nothing wrong with it but um, if you're going to put a, you know, kind of a high price tag, you should put a lot more items in it. All right, friends. Well, I hope that you liked this little haul slash review of this junk journal kit. And I will see you in the next video. Um, and I can't wait to get started on doing a junk journal with you all. Until then, friends, take care and I will see you all later. Bye.